What you doing? I just thought of a dead here. So that's the pulley. So this is one of the old pulleys. That this bearing's still alright. It's a bit grumbly. We're still working. The one in here was seized altogether. So and this this is actually makes a V pulley. It's a V, whereas that's a flat. So this runs on the back of the belt, that runs on the V side of the belt. It's a double V. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but principles the same. So, so you what, what we did, mm -hmm. these are a two-part pulley. We actually went and bought new ones, 55 bucks each, but um, <coughs> one of them was uh, need to be modified a bit. I had to trim with this one here. I had to actually take a bit off the diameter. As you can see, this one's a bit smaller now. Okay. Because it was binding on something. So I, what I did, I took the rivets, the solid rivets out that hold the two halves together. Mm -hmm. I've cleaned it up a bit, give it a bit of paint to make it look pretty and professional. <laughs> so that's, that's the way we are. <laughs> and we went in <coughs> and bought ourselves <coughs> some new bearings. 6203, and they've got the... Uh, DDU, I think these have got the neoprene seal in here, where neoprene shield or, or um, shield. Mm -hmm. The ones that come out that John Deere provide, they have the metal shield, but the bearing guy tells me, you see, I don't know if you can really appreciate their metal shields, that these are better for keeping the dirt out, to say seal onto the, the inner part of there around the shaft. Mm. That's it. So, bearing goes in there like that, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> we've put a couple of witness marks in here to make sure it's aligned the same way, put it back the same way it came off. It's got to be... in the press it over the last little bit. We didn't cut the thing? No, no. What's the end looks like? Oh, okay, it's still there. Oh, 
morning. <sighs> we need enough porridge for breakfast. These are actually monol. They're not aluminium, so they're pretty tough. Okay. All right, so that's those. Yeah. Now I'm going to put aluminium in the rest. I think these ones will go. Yeah. That's number 316. Mm. Okay, four the other way, four the other way. So it will lock together All right. properly. Um, yeah, no, I'm putting them all the same way. These on. ones here are just aluminium. And as you can see... I've actually got an air operator one of these if you're doing lots of them. Yeah, I think we use it in the container. Yeah. No. So what do you reckon? Ah, <coughs> we'll put I was gonna put another couple of models in, but I'll just put alum in. It's really not a great force trying to split it apart because it's a rotational. $55 pulley. $55? Dollar? Well, if you buy it from John Deere, it is. Oh. Right, so what I need so to do... Save, save uh, $49, cause the bearing is 6 bucks. No, but... Ah. Well... How is that? I don't know. <coughs> well, <coughs> and the fare. Plus the 6 bucks plus rivets plus labor. I'm just seeing if this will go. Yeah. What I'm doing there, you know what I'm doing? No. I want it to look professional again. Nah. <laughs> In the, in the bearing there. Right. Okay. So ding ding, that's the sun drying. Let's put it in the oven, in the solar oven. Yeah. That means out in the sun. <coughs> Alright, so that's it for now.